Hello, I'm Inko, and in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you what I found to be the most optimal control scheme you could have to play Zato and Guilty Gear Strive on controller or pad. Now, a few things is that I want to let you know that if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I always respond to my comments, and that I will leave some extra information at the end of the video. Now I'll get ahead and explain my control scheme. So the way this differs from the normal or the default controls is that I've put my slash and heavy slash buttons on the shoulder buttons. Now the reason I've done this is that I found to do negative edging is pretty difficult when you have one finger to take care of all four attack buttons. Like for example, if you're doing strings with your slash and heavy slash, you have to be holding down, for example, kick or punch, and one finger for four buttons does not really is not really easy to do. I found it easier to have my thumb locked down on the spot, for example on the kick button, and let my R1 and L2 be moving around to do my slash and heavy slash strings. Originally I put the punch and kick on the shoulder buttons, but I found it more awkward when I was transitioning doing that. So yeah. And now I'm gonna show you some basic combos with Zato that you can do to get used to the control scheme and to practice negative edging with this. Now feel free to change it to fit your preference, but this is the exact button layout that I use. So I'm gonna now show you like some basic combos that you can practice with Zato to get used to the controls and practice negative edging. So I'm gonna teach you how to do this frog loop. Into the wall break. And I'm also teach you I'm also going to teach you how to do drills into frog. And then you can just finish off the wall break however you like. So for the first frog loop, you the way the the way you start off the combo is by doing a close slash into down heavy slash. And then notice how Eddie is not out right now. You're gonna summon Eddie to do the frog with quarter circle forward slash by pressing R1, which is my controls. Like this. You're gonna summon Eddie to do, so that's the first step. Frog. After the second hit lands, Zot after cause Zata is gonna be low to the ground, you're gonna do down slash. You're gonna hold it. You gotta hold this button. And then up, down, heavy slash. And notice how on the bottom left of the screen, I'm holding down heavy slash. You have to hold it down, or else when Eddie's out, he's going to do a pose, which is this. By holding, and then after you do, after you do this sequence, you're going to let go of slash. And that's going to cause Eddie to do the frog. So here, I'll show it one more time. That's when I let go of slash. After I do the down heavy slash, you have to hold it, or else you're gonna get a post. Now, for the drill combo, it's gonna be the same as before, just that instead of doing quarter circle forward slash to do the frog, you're gonna do quarter circle forward kick to do the drill. So it's the same sequence for the first step. Close slash, down heavy slash, drill. And after that, because Zato is not as low to the ground, you could wait till the drills are done and then it do down slash, down heavy slash, or you could just do close slash, down heavy slash. Remember, you also have to hold down heavy slash, and then let go of slash, so that Eddie continues with the frog. So here, I'm going to show it to you one more time. And that's pretty much it. For now, if you want to practice more negative edging with this, then you could do the exact same combo while already having Eddie out. And you can do this by summoning Eddie, and then as you're summoning him, you can store a button. So, see right now how I summoned Eddie and I press kick, and I'm holding it? You're storing the kick button. So you could do the same sequence. So here I'll show you. You summon Eddie, you hold kick during the animation. And then you let go of kick. Now you're doing negative edging at the beginning and in the second half of the combo. 
And now you could also do this with the first combo as well, with There's the frog loops. Instead of holding kick, you hold slash, and then you would... This one's going to be a little different because you can't start your combo with slash button because you're already holding it down. So what you're going to do is you're going to loop frog into frog. Now I'm going to show you how to do that. When he's low to the ground, down heavy slash, let go slash. And then you just keep looping it into each other. After the second hit of frog, you can do down down slash and then follow it up with the down heavy slash. Keep holding heavy slash. And then you got to let go of the slash button. So see how I'm holding both down? Then you would let go of the slash button. And then after you do the frog the second time, then you would do the same sequence again. Down slash, down heavy slash. And then that's going to get you the wall stick. So one last time. You can do... I'm pretty sure you could also do close slash. Just test it. Yes, you can also do close slash, but you're going to have to dash in to do it. Close slash, you can do it while picking up closer when he's higher up. And then you could do down slash when he's closer down to the ground. It depends on your preference. And I found that doing down slash, down heavy slash easier to do at first because I can just hold down position. And yeah. That's my control scheme and some basic combos that I practice to get used to the controls and to do negative etching with these controls. Now last few things, again, I respond to every comment and feel free to ask any questions, I'll respond. And any mistakes in the video, I will put a pinned comment in the comment section with any corrections that happen. And yeah, that's my Zotto control scheme and I hope that was helpful. Thank you.